And we continue to follow breaking news at this hour out of Boone, where we're learning of four people dead, including two Watauga County Sheriff's deputies, a fifth person, the suspect, also dead. This all after an hours long standoff. Thanks for staying with us here for the news at noon. I'm Ben Thompson. And I'm Carolyn Bruck. This afternoon, we are seeing photos for the first time of the officers killed. Sergeant Chris Ward and K-9 officer Logan Fox were doing a welfare check on a family when they were killed in this. There are two other victims killed. We're told they're somehow related to the suspect. Police say the suspect locked himself inside of that house for hours before taking his own life. His name and the two other victims' names related to him, they have not been released just yet. We want to go live out to WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner in live in Boone. He's been talking to members of the community who say they're, they're understandably just in complete shock. A lot of this information fluid right now, Brandon, coming in in the last hour or two. What's the latest? That's right, Ben and Carolyn. Let's first show you this memorial that has been growing outside the Watauga County Sheriff's Office. We have been seeing people from all over, including family members of the two deputies, as well as friends, even people who don't know the deputies who have been coming out here to pay their respects and pray for this community. As you just said, we had five people who were shot. We do know that the suspect, according to the sheriff, killed his mom and stepfather inside the home. Again, we do not know the identity of those individuals. They have not been released just yet. According to the sheriff, the deputies actually knew the suspect and they actually interacted with him as early as this past weekend. The sheriff says that he considers this to be an ambush, that the suspect was waiting for these deputies to arrive when this happened. We also do know of an SBI agent and a Boone police officer that were sent in to try to rescue Deputy Fox and one of those people, the Boone police officer was shot in by the suspect, but it only hit his helmet and the helmet protected the officer from getting shot. The sheriff says the community turnout has been amazing after this tragedy. They have the compassion for the community and, and doing the right thing and they did that. You know, they, they didn't expect this, but they were doing the right thing tell you more about those deputies, who they were, and the impact to this community starting today at 4 o'clock. Live in Boone, Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte. All right, Brandon, thank you. We'll, of course, be updating this story throughout the afternoon. We expect to learn more information. You can find that new information in the WCNC app. Carolyn.